Individuals who are just as involved, and those under probationary supervision, can benefit from an array of services, like housing assistance, employment support, mental health assessment, legal services, education, and substance use treatment. But accessing multiple services presents a challenge in a city as sprawling as Los Angeles. To better coordinate services and allow people to access them in one place, the Developing Opportunities and Offering Reentry Solutions Program, also known as DOORS, was created. The DOORS model is one reentry approach that MDRC is evaluating in Los Angeles County. DOORS is different because it's a one-stop shop. The majority of the people that we service need multiple services. And when it's a one-stop shop, you can receive all the services at the same time. And that's what makes it different. They don't have to be just as impacted, but here in Los Angeles County, Everyone is somewhat connected to someone who has been justice impacted. So when you're talking about a person re-entering into their community from a carceral setting, they're entering into their families. So this is a family center. When a person comes out of jail, they're either moving with grandma, with auntie. The services we provide here, grandma may need, the children may need, the entire family may need. Individuals who are released from the court are told to release immediately. They're supposed to be here within a 48-hour time frame. Most individuals come the same day that they're released. So the idea for this joint partnership was that we can give a warm handoff and they would be in the same building. And so imagine that, you know, the, my first check-in, before I even go and see my children, my family, or my loved ones, I have to go check in with a person who I don't know, right? Because it's not like you know who your assigned probation officer. And I'm going to be given the conditions of my release. What better way to say, not only are these things are all the things that we're hoping that you're able to do, some of these things we can start now and we're going to walk you right up. Um, to get connected, and I think that's the advantage that our services have, not just having the services, but they're coordinated in a way that allow people to have access to them in real life time. So Chrysalis is an employment supportive service. We help individuals connect to employment resources, whether that is how to find a job, how to apply to a job, how to navigate the interview, um, also like clothing, a lot of our clients are unhoused or have just been released from incarceration so they don't have like professional attire. We also help with other type of resources like if they can't pay their cell phone, like we'll help them with that because obviously if they can't use their phone, they can't connect to employers or to interviews or to their shifts. But there's other things that are not like financial resources that we have. We know that if you're struggling with mental health barriers or substance use, then it's hard to even present a certain way at a job interview. So we wanna make sure that you're addressing those things first. We wanna connect them to as many resources as possible so that when they do get the job, they're able to keep the job. The biggest one that I think they've been helping me with is transportation. You know, you get out and, and you don't have the, the facilities with moving around. You know, I live two hours away and they've been able to help me with that. I get Ubered back and forth. It shows me how much they really care for people who want to better themselves. I am the teacher here for Five Keys School and Programs. We give adults the opportunity to gain their high school diploma. Many of our students have never been able to finish high school before, but there is Five Keys who has the opportunity for them to actually have that experience that they never had before, where they walk across the stage, they get their diploma, and then they can go on to the next level of education. Um, I'm not gonna lie, a couple times I almost gave up, but I'm kind of happy that I kept going. But I remember this one quote she sent me, I was feeling like real crazy and ready to give up. And I read it, it was basically saying like, you know, stay motivated, don't give up and something else. But with her sending me that, it just gave me motivation to keep going and don't give up. So every day her little quotes always keep me positive and give me strength. A person from my background who never really thought he could come back to school is actually going back to school and I'm only a few credits away from actually completing. You know, that's all thanks to all the resources that DOORS offers. Education is the key. 
With that being said, if they are in school and they can't maintain a level of focus because their housing situation is not up to par, I can't ask a student to focus on doing work if they don't know where they're going to sleep or rest their head. We have avenues here that can actually help with that. You know, I always say, in L.A. County in particular, our issue is not the lack of service. It's uh, making sure that people are aware of the services to be able to connect and the access to services. I can tap in with, like, another provider and say, hey, like, we've exceeded the resources that we can provide for this client, but I know that you have this. Can we use it? So it's, it's cool that we can partner and share resources. Probation has always had um the idea that in order to assist our clients, we would provide service. But until we actually joined in partnership in the same building, I've never seen it as successful as it is. I feel like I used to have that voice in my head that I said I couldn't do it, but since I went through this whole change with um, my life within the past nine months, now I feel like nothing can't stop me. I'm undefeated. Yeah, this is my little family. It's impacting me and, and a big way. I used to be so full of fear, I used to be so full of, of uh, failing at things, right? But the only thing that I feel through coming to Doors is that it's possible for me to, to get an education, to continue with an education, to prep myself for, you know, a higher education. For somebody like me, you know, I really didn't see that five years ago I'm coming into Doors. It's really motivating to know that there's people and there's programs and there's, there's these uh, places that you can come to and they help you in every which way. They have all the resources that one may need.